Hi, I'm Denise Barrett from Vine Right Nutrition, and today I am making some low FODMAP appetizers for Thanksgiving, and I want to show you a little bit about how I made them. And the recipe is up on the Vine Right Nutrition blog. So I hope that you try them if you have IBS. And sometimes the holidays may cause GI discomfort. Um, so these are actually made from potato. So I'm cutting the potato in little rounds like this. And then what I'm gonna do is Put them on a pan, a cookie sheet, and it really works out best if you can cut them about the same size so they're uniform. And when you uh, bake them at 425 degrees, you will not burn some more than the others. So um, these are about uniform size. I just have a few out. I have a few at different stages so you can see what they look like when you're making them and at the very end. So I'm just gonna brush on a little bit of olive oil. Just so they won't stick. You could also spray it with an olive oil spritzer spray. But I find that I have better control and make less of a mess sometimes if I just brush them lightly. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on them at this point, just a little bit. Not too much. You know, you can even use it with your, use your hands too. I'm going to put a little pepper on it. And at this point, you could put a few herbs on here too. Um, some gray herbs, depending on um, what veggies you use, and I'm going to show you what veggies I'm using right now, um, would be thyme, maybe even a little sage if um, your combination, you feel, tastes good with some sage, maybe even a little um, fresh chopped parsley, but I would put, I would mix that in with the veggies instead of just right on top of here. I'd probably put a some dried herbs on here. And if you like the taste of garlic, but you find that garlic or even onion tear up um, your tummy, um, you can actually use garlic oil or some uh, oil that you make with shallots or onions. And what you can do is actually take out the onions and the garlic when you're infusing the oil with it. And you just put it in a um, skillet and just put the oil in and just lightly saute big chunks of the onion or the garlic in the oil. And then just take it out with some tongs. And then you have your own garlic oil or shallot oil or onion oil. And it's actually the uh, pieces of the garlic or the onion that cause tummy aches. If you have IBS and those are the foods that you might be intolerant to. I like the idea of the potato rounds because sometimes you just want something a little bit different for a crostini. You can also use gluten-free bread that's FODMAP friendly or crackers, gluten-free crackers that are FODMAP friendly, if you want to. And this is not gluten-free, but it works for a lot of people with IBS. A slow-rise sourdough, because the sourdough, uh, the starter actually eats some of the things in wheat that bother people with IBS, but it would not work if you're gluten-free. So you can make crostinis that way too, but I think it's fun to use a potato. If sweet potatoes don't bother you and you can um, eat a few of those, you know, what's your portions of those uh, compared to 
the other potato, the white potato, which you might want to watch your portions there too, so you have room for other things that you want to be eating for Thanksgiving or all through the holidays. So my combination today, so the, at this point, I'm going to put this in the oven and toast it um, as directed on the recipe online on one side until it's browned and then I flip it over and then toast it on the other side and I'll show you what that looks like. So here's some I already did. They're toasted on the both sides. And next what I'll do is I'll add my veggie combination. This particular example uses some fresh spinach, which I'm just gonna add a little bit of it. And it'll cook, I'm using raw spinach, but I've also used cooked spinach before. But the raw spinach just cooks up really quick along with the tomato. And I'm using Parmesan cheese on it. So I added my spinach. Now you could use some roasted, I, I would use the bell peppers already roasted, but you could roast some bell pepper, just a few of them, especially the, the red. That doesn't, in small portions, that doesn't tend to bother um, people that have IBS. Eggplant, you could roast some eggplant. I would roast those ahead of time. But the tomato, I actually have a mixture of orange and yellow and red. So I think that's really pretty for the holidays. And you could make this, I mean, you, you know, you can make this up until the new year for a quick appetizer. It's a little different than a lot of people. I mean, you could even make this into like a Mexican type of crostini. Um, Mediterranean. You could even, you know, use an Asian inspired potato. Why not? So I've got the tomato on top of the greens. And then next, we're just gonna sprinkle it with a little Parmesan cheese. So I'm just gonna put just a little. And that's the great thing about making this. You can make a whole lot of them without using a ton of ingredients. Now I've sort of messed this one up, but that's okay. I pulled the spinach off. I'll just put that on the next batch. I mean, this could even be good if you're watching an afternoon or evening football game or even the Super Bowl or anything you want, actually. So I've topped it with my Parmesan cheese and then next it'll go in the oven. But to save time, because I know that your holiday season is really um, busy and we're just at the kickoff, so we have to um, save your time for other things. I've actually taken some out of the oven and I'm actually going to just, sorry about the traveling, but I wanted you to see it. And I made a little garnish with some parsley and some tomatoes. So that's it. That is a potato crostini and it's on the website. And also I have some holiday eBooks that you can download on the Vine Ripe Nutrition website. And that recipe is on there. So um, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know and let me know what you topped yours with. The combinations are infinite. Thank you. Bye-bye.